I provide administrative support for the cancer program with the Alaska Native Tribal Health Consortium. One of the projects the cancer program promotes is colorectal cancer awareness. Knowing that colorectal cancer is preventable by getting a colonoscopy, I decided to schedule my baseline colonoscopy. When I met with Dr. Tieva for my pre-procedure, he asked if I wanted an endoscopy at the same time. He explained how he would go down first and then come up. I thanked him for doing it in that order. I was joking. That is how I cope when I'm nervous. The preparation for this procedure was worse than the procedure itself. On the day of my procedure, I was sedated with the medication given intravenously. The last thing I remember telling Dr. Tieva was my head felt a little funny. Next thing I knew, Dr. Tieva was shaking me and telling me to wake up. I remember my first thoughts were, I guess he decided not to go ahead with the procedure. I guess I'll have to reschedule. But I did have the procedure. I was wheeled into recovery where my honey and daughter was waiting for me. There was no pain, but I did have a lot of gas. The nurse said it was normal and to expel it as it came. I was too relaxed to be embarrassed. Dr. Tieva stopped to say I had one polyp removed and a stomach infection. What? This was a surprise to me. I had expected to hear everything was fine because that was how I was feeling, fine, normal. To me, this was just a checkup. You see, I don't know a lot of my family's history. My siblings and I share medical information whenever it comes up. Now I make sure to share this information with my son and daughter too. I can't give them a lot of family history, but I can give them my history. In the end, no pun intended, it was worth it to have this procedure done. Although parts were unpleasant, it didn't hurt. I know I'll schedule my next colonoscopy in five years.